last time on Lawful Stupid. Not everybody. This wants. is the time that we went to the hot spring, and then we had new clothes. Emperor's new. Cl Emperor's new clothes. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You also had a bad uh, dream, and we left. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah! Last time on Lawful Stupid, we visited my youth, and we went to D and D High School. <laughs> D and D High School. Uh, I was a jock that pr pretty much protected Kristoff. A very, a very handsome one. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Where is he from? Yeah, so you weren't on work. And was also mm. very mm. handsome. Because he was yeah. also a tiefling. And we, we went on a journey and we heard horrible things about my past and my parents and my brother. And I'm a sad boy. And then I, I didn't cry myself to sleep because Kristoff actually can't cry. Because anytime he tries to, his tear ducts freeze up. <laughs> Terrible life. That's a true story. It's canonical uh, at this point. So then I'm alone. In, well, not alone. We're in a hotel room. I wake up from my horrible <laughs> nightmare vision. I look over and I see my boy sleeping. And I just stare at the ceiling until morning. I stare at him staring at the ceiling. I think this would have... Okay. No. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so you guys, you guys all awake in the uh, tavern, um, or your rooms in the taverns, and I think you go down um, to the lobby. Firm, that would make sense. Um, yeah, probably go get some breakfast. Yeah, on your way out. Um, so we kind of crashed into this episode, uh, which is good. Because crash into me, crash into me. Yeah, that's because that's what I wanted to do. Um, but so as you go down into the lobby, uh, this is the perfect opportunity for our patron guest to introduce himself, both himself and his character's physical description, um, because he will be in the lobby of this. Wait, wait a fucking yeah. second. Are you saying that this is a guest episode that's happening in real time in our own canonical universe where our decisions will have an impact on our own lives? Well, to be, to be fair, they've had impacts on your own lives, like character development, stuff like that. You just fucked everybody else up as you walk around. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah. As Rowan mm. shakes his head vigorously, I don't give a fuck about any of those people. <laughs> I've been asleep for the last two seasons. What year is it? <laughs> what did I do? What year is it? Year is it? Uh, hey there, everybody. Uh, I'm Sneaky. And oh, you're saying you're a rogue then. Figure that you would see. You might you might think would be a rogue with, with the hood and, and the cloak, uh, mm. but uh, keeping to themselves mostly in the corner with the aforementioned hood pulled high on a dark robe mm. um, with some silver threading sort of running throughout in distinctly serpentine patterns uh, from underneath the robe near the floor. Uh, a scaly tail can be seen slowly swinging back and forth almost lazily as the head underneath the hood slowly surveys the room and upon seeing the group at the bottom of the stairs a snake like tongue would flick out from underneath the hood several times. That means he's smelling us. You should smell me, bro? You gonna smell me, bro? <laughs> you smell me from over here? Have you presented yourself yet again? And the figure who steps forward removes the hood and you see a very snake-like face. Very, very, very snake-like like are we talking um, the about eyes. like Jafar? like kind of kind of like like Voldemort but more snaky? How do you Voldemort get more? So, so Voldemort snaky. and Jafar had a baby. Well, okay, <laughs> that's a mental image, which is a fanfic. Like... <laughs> stupid <laughs> No, mm. I don't know. I have a big fan of Jafar to Mort. Jafar, hey Jafar, get out of here! Jafar, 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 Jafar. I'm my wrong window, Jafar. 
Uh, so did you say you said this to us? You walked up and said this? Yes. Uh, Christoph, is this your family? <laughs> uh, yes. This is my cousin Jeremiah. Jeremiah, come in. Bring it in. And I <laughs> hold my arms out like it was a time for hugs. Um, I look at you like you're on drugs. Yes, okay, that's fair. Um, no, uh, ex- sir? Uh, sir? Yeah. Ma'am? <laughs> sir, uh, it's, what, I don't know snake stuff. Uh, I, what, what, I'm sorry, what, what can we help you with? <laughs> Not biology, just stuff. Uh, let, can we see your Jan sport for a second? <laughs> oh, come on! Oh. You, you have to explain that now, don't nope, you? Nope, no, no, no. Nope. Skip over. Okay, this okay, just, you just need to skip over. Yep. Yeah. Uh, is this not one of your tricks, serpent? I am not. One of. Go ahead. I'm not doing tricks. Only treats. It's breakfast time. Something is wrong, then. I seem to be out of place. I would agree. Uh, would you like to have breakfast with us? Breakfast. It's a... Uh, sure. Hard biscuits is usually my choice I, with, with gravy and... Christoph, what, what are you... What, oh, is that a Solencian? <laughs> Oh, we are we are in silence, so that means you guys have to try the Silencian snowballs. Hmm. I would love to. Uh, and our new friend, uh, what's, what's your name? It's not Jeremiah, obviously. Yeah, Actually, it's, it's Jer- Jeremiah. <laughs> Syllabus. 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 Oh. Well, s- Syllabus, uh, we welcome you. Would you like to have food with us this morning. I will dine with you. What is your name? Oh, my name is Atlas. Rowan. And I am Christoph. Christoph. Mm-hmm. Chris Toph. Interesting. Let us Eat, then. Yes, I. Excuse me, Gosson. Gosson. Uh, if I could have, please, a round of Silencian snowballs for the table, as well as your hardest liquor with just enough fruit juice to change the color. Uh, yeah. So, um, I think this uh, young tea queen who uh, hasn't been or wasn't there yesterday when you guys like went. Oh, no, he was. He was here yesterday because that's how I know his name is Garcon. I thought you were more like Garcon as in a general <laughs> term. Am, fucking with you. <clears throat> yeah, his name's Garcon, the waiter. Hey, <laughs> listen, I, I pull Garcon. shit out of my ass when you guys require names for randos all the time. So it's like, is that something I just oh, agreed to after a oh, few drinks? Wait, Because I, <laughs> I don't remember a portion of that episode and I'm happy about it. So, um, yeah, like this, a small um, young tiefling like, comes over and. Uh, because Silencian snowballs are like uh, a staple here, um, they're just like ready to order. Um, so they're filled with staples. If they're filled with staples, yeah. Oh, it's it's iron, iron and ice is what it is. The old iron and ice. Um, so she brings like a tray of uh, Silencian snowballs, and over um, basically uh, straight um, like it's almost like a vodka consistency, but it's like. Uh, ice cold, and then it's just got a splash of like citrus in it. Mm. The best part of waking up is numbing all my pain. It's good life you lead. Um, yes, yeah, so she pl- places these drinks. You can now feel it because you're awake. Yeah, <laughs> so she places these uh, drinks down. Is there anything else I can get you? Oh, do you have any uh, hard biscuits and gravy? Uh- we could. I, I'm. I, I'm sure I could make our biscuits hard. You 
do you have any biscuits from like three days ago? Yeah, that's that's, that's how we do it. Uh, maybe old biscuits is a good oh, way to sure. Let old, could it be called old biscuits. <laughs> Let me check what we would normally oh. give to the orphanage. I'm, I'm sure, I'm sure we could find something. No, don't don't, don't take, take them from the, the orphanage. Out of the hands and mouths no, of orphans and I do them not want them that bad. Let the orphans. Well, we could just give yes, them the no, soft it's... biscuits in, in their place. Yeah, pay for oh, the soft yes. biscuits. Give I thought... the soft biscuits to take their old hard biscuits. But it's yeah, it's, yeah, it's good to know that you don't care about our tiefling children. My orc friend. I just said, don't said take the hard. No, I, I get it. I'm, I'm giving you a hard time. I'm giving you a hard time. Okay. Yeah, I, I like that. I like you, uh, Gaston. Which is you say it again? Gaston. Uh, Gaston. Yes, my name is Gaston. Gender neutral name, as it were. I. Uh, you would have. Okay. Biscuits, please, is what I'll take. Literally French for boy. <laughs> uh. Yeah. So. Uh. Well, she uh, walks what away. French. Uh, <laughs> it's actually ancient Valyrian <laughs> for boy. And what's Valyrian? Uh, <laughs> the blue eyes white dragon. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> I, 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 she uh, she goes away in search of uh, hard biscuits. Mm. So what brings you here, new friend? Trying, trying to link up with your your brother, Rubric? That's <laughs> weak. I'm sorry? You can't, you can't tell if, he's, so if, if, if they're laughing or just kind of slowly sort of wiggling their head back and forth, they don't make any sound at, at your joke. <laughs> um, and they sort of regard... It's exactly like all my other jokes. Impassively. Uh... And then after a, a brief moment, they would say, of, of mishap, of the arcane variety, saw my arrival here to silence, you said? Yes, I, wait a second. Blink twice if you're from a different time and space and you've been transported here by magical means. I watch intently. Uh, I suppose depends on where here is and when. This is silence. Uh, our year of blank, blankety blank. Dwayne? Uh, silence, the year of 446 PAT. 446 PAT. Fact. Here you. Very. So, what, what time do you come from? The day that I left was in the year 466. So oh, we've never when, been to the future. When got you? He, he did the thing to you that he does to us. Mm -hmm. Welcome to... Uh... When dead, but when is dead? <gasps> Fuck yeah! High five, yes. bros! Yeah! Yeah! I, I say, well, wow. Hold on a second. Are things good where you come from, or is it like chaos and, and misery? Things are interesting, I would say. More chaotic than here, I suppose. I don't know what you're used to. Uh, well... Are, are you much of a reader? Do you read books? I do. History? I have been known to study text. Yes. If, you, if, if you've read any sort of history book, you probably know my name, Christoph Shindo. Um, and then this is Atlas Fairy. He might have been like a sub-chapter of mine. And then this is Rowan Legato. He probably would have been in like folk stories. Um, probably not history books. But are we dead? As it happens, Kristoff, I do know your name. Of course but you do. Not, Everybody got it. Not from books. No. Obituary? <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. The Great Silver Serpent Monument. In a, in a <laughs> sense, you're not entirely wrong, great big orc 
Oh, yeah. I did not mean that, Christoph. I'm very sorry now that it's I said that. I kind of knew it was coming. <laughs> Christoph Sindo is no more but the Silver Serpent lives on and gives me and my fellows our power. Wait a second. Are you a cleric? <laughs> <laughs> Am I a god now? What happened? A cleric? No. Are you a no. warlock? Perhaps that's what you would call it. Oh, I, no. I whispered to Kristoff, I think he's literally a silver serpent. Well, I, I, I picked up on that. Yes. Um, no. Excellent work, Atlas. I think you really cracked this one wide up. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Where are those hard biscuits? I want to see. <laughs> I want to see they? the spinoff uh, where it's Kristoff and Atlas, and Kristoff is Sherlock Holmes and Atlas is Watson, but like a dumbed down version, where it just says the most obvious things. I want that as a side podcast. We now do. I want that as a t-shirt. I want the hat. I want I want Atlas in a tiny little fucking waistcoat with a bowler and a pipe. Yeah, I need that. Um, yeah, get at me, the boys at Lawful Stupid Org. Um, <laughs> you know, uh, so, uh, okay, all right, let me get this straight. Okay, I'm dead. But, well, Kristoff Shindo is, do you mean like, I've put, that's like my dead name, and I've put that behind me, and now I'm the Silver Serpent, which I'm kind of, like, pointing the mask and kind of my general appearance. I'm a cleric, I get that. Um, is that what you're talking about? Or am I dead, and then, like, the title lives on, and there's a new Silver Serpent after me, and his name is Reginald? No. Neither. I suppose the first is more accurate though okay all right well um so i give you power which means you are like my dude right you're like my guy and i like you tend to fist bump sort of looks at your fist and in, in, in a very sort of like alien way just kind of like snaps the head down and like you have to like click. orbits, orbits, orbits its head around your your fist a little bit, and then just kind of looks back at you. I, I gingerly I, grab him by the wrist, and I and I shake <laughs> his hand into a fist, and I bump them, and I bump them. And I go, "This this is the greeting that you must pass on to the rest of the silver serpents, so that they so that they know this is how we'll know each other." Just upon greeting, we'll be like, "Is serpent?" And then and then when, when you bump it, you go, then you then you make your hand flat, and you go bump, and you go. Um, and so they sort of tense up at first when you when you grab their their arm and start kind of shaping it, and then and then it, as again as you get their fist close to your fist, um, and then like once you make contact, they they sort of visibly relax, but as soon as you let go, they like recoil very quickly. Um, no, 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 it's, it's... As, as, as as though they were expecting that contact to hurt or have some mm -hmm. other effect. No, just. Just this, everything's fine. Um, so, uh, what were you doing before you came here? Was it something super important? Do you have like a message for us? Is there, do you have to like do a hundred good deeds or you'll be trapped here forever? Are you Andy McDowell? Are you Andy McDowell? <laughs> Again, is this the second Andy McDowell? <laughs> I was investigating. You see, where I come from, Christoph, you've accomplished a very difficult task. You've destroyed the pillar gods that hold Goron together. Mm -hmm. That was the plan, yes. It did not go well. I never expected it to, frankly. I suppose you could say you came out on top. I, but let, it changed am I you. I'm a god now, right? God is a small word to describe it. 
Okay, so I'm like super god. All right, this isn't good. Hey, I have to still do this thing, but um, do me a favor. When you get back to your own timeline, kill me. My weakness is my bum. It's not covered by any scales. It's very weak. Uh, you can I see mean, the thought of that causes something akin to maybe distress or confusion, just like trying to conceive of killing whatever you just told yeah. it to kill. Yes, I, there are no more gods, there are no more kings. We all have to die. So if that's what's there going are, on... Uh, but the oh. Silver Serpent owns them. That's not good. That's not good. Uh, hey, guys? That's not good, right? No, it's, it's not. So I gotta know, what makes you laugh? What makes you happy inside? Happy? I suppose I, I am happy with my life and with power. Okay, it sounds uh, like Kristoff a little bit. Can you tell me a joke? Do you have any jokes? I'm getting a sense that this future bit you're coming from is not a very happy place to be. Am I am I gauging that right? What brings you happiness? Uh, well, look at my friend over here with this beautiful red hat. Bro one. It's a beautiful hat. Thank you. It's also not red. Oh, what? Color? what? <laughs> I feel the same way, Devin. I, think, I thought it was a brown leather hat with a red band. Is that not true? Yeah. I thought it was a red hat this yeah. whole time. Yeah, uh, you gotta be colorblind to know this shit. Um, Atlas, you are actually wearing a red hat with a small white poof ball at the end. Poof. Look at that! Look at his! Look at his brown hat! And I look at my red hat. <laughs> and look he's at him! And look at me! These are some of the simple things in life that bring me happiness. And then uh, I imagine the hard biscuits come. These hard biscuits are another thing. Just simple things that bring. Me, but you seem very distracted and. and Confused, and I, I get that. We've been touched by winds craziness enough ourselves. I've been touched by an angel. I spit on the ground at the name of wind. <laughs> a small but like uh, seems... twig grows where you spit. Oh god! <laughs> 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 Take that! I do it one more time. Same thing happens. What? What, what did you come here? Yeah, it seems you came cool here for. <laughs> you came Use here for that. something. Shut up and listen to me. <laughs> <laughs> Spit in Kristoff's face. Let's see what happens. I'm wearing a mask, nerd. <laughs> and then it's a wind mask. <gasps> what is your purpose here? Do you think? I do not know, but I wish to return as quick as possible. All right. I can, I can make sense <laughs> my connection with my patron waning. Oh, why don't you just grab a whole, a whole bunch of stuff and then you... Can I, just put, I just put my hand on her shoulder. Here you go. <laughs> it looks around. <laughs> no, I don't, I don't have any powers like that yet. Um, do you want to go home? I can do that. Can you? Yeah. You possess this ability? It, it will take literally one minute. I'm interested. <laughs> Me too. Uh, I, I don't, I mean, it's, hey, out of character, this is the beginning of the guest episode, I don't know what's going to happen. Yeah. Do not but, kill him. But, like, that's I mean, not... He's not going to go home. I'm, like, I'm going to send him home. <laughs> <laughs> that's what I thought. I'm going to kill him. <laughs> well, this cat's banishment. He's not from here. If, it, if I concentrate on it for a minute, he stays where he, where he came from. Are you ready for this? <laughs> Want to go home, kid? Does it work that way? I don't. I, I don't know. I think it does. Up? I'm gonna look it up real quick. Because <laughs> I'm pretty sure that's like a like a plan. Thanks, moment. This has been another installment of Stupid <laughs> 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 Chainsaw Spells. All right, hey. So no, it's to, to the, the plane, plane of existence. <laughs> yeah. I mean, plane of, plane of existence. I would think that's within the same. Time it's still the same plane, right? I mean, he's still yeah, in the same same plane. Same plane. Timeline. Uh, I'm gonna take that as it's not the same thing because planner is more like an elemental thing. Um, there, are, there is no time planer system that I'm aware of. Um, I mean, you can super banish him. I don't want it if it's not gonna do the thing. I think it's, <laughs> it's it's not. But I would still love that to be like 
Okay, it's so fine. So he shoots, so he shoots up. You try <laughs> it. You can try it. Well, I love the idea of him popping back and you going, "Hmm, not what I expected." Well, I'll th- I tell you. I'll tell you what. Let's let's not meta game. My bad. Let's not talk about rules. Let's roll a fucking arcana check. I, I rolled a I rolled a twenty five. I think that I can figure out that that's not. Yeah, how this you would works, know that you don't can't waste my like, time or spanish him. So, like this is a, his like time issues, or you would have been doing that like because you could just banish yourselves back, right? Like honestly. Well, no, because I can only I can only target one feature. No, I mean yourself, I, I, right? You I, can send everybody I have else been back. Using, I have been using that has been my escape plan, Dwayne. <laughs> just so you know, that has been Spanish my fuck- self. I was like, oh shit, Rowan's dead, Atlas is dead, we're trapped in the horrible past. Bye! Boink! Boink. And I was going to banish myself, but now I know. Yep. Anyway, sorry. Uh, it, so yes, um, well, you must be... What What were you doing? Ex- you said you were doing research. What were you doing exactly the moment before you were here? I had stumbled upon an arcane ritual, which I believe was being conducted in order to contact the lost pillar. Elia. And you can see oh. it speaking the name Elia sort of disgusts him a little bit. Uh, hey, I'm just going to no. help you out, uh, Nathan, because I have the worst like spelling, but it's Elia. I know you pronounce it based on the letters, yeah. correct, but it's Elia. Oh no! Okay. It's cool. It sounds different in parcel tongue. Yeah, um, super. Just helping you out. Hundred percent. Should have said spelling. Hey, uh, uh, she's like the only one I don't have beef with. <laughs> why? Why are you disgusted? She's perhaps the only way to remove the serpent from power. Yes, do that. Do that thing. You say that, and they laugh a little bit. Oh, there it is! It. You did it. Okay, send us in him home. We did it. Yeah, He's happy you, now. I, I no, I'm serious. You, that's a good thing. I, what you're describing is is not good. There should be no tyrants. And it sounds like I'm way too powerful. So if there's if this Aya can can remove me from power, that's probably a good idea. But I, I do not good. wish. For you to be removed from power. Uh, well, I cast thaumaturgy and make my voice loud and booming and dragon-like, and I go, But I am your patron, and I command it. A slight smirk. I mean, unless are you trying to are you trying to intimidate? Uh yes. Yep. That's, I mean, that's basically what I'm trying to do, right? Yeah, so... Yeah, do I'm, it, not, I'm not big on contest roles against players. I mean, because, like, he can choose whether he's intimidated by you, right? Because that's not, like, a hard spell effect. You're just trying to be sure. extra intimidating. Um, so, I... Well, I, 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 I tell you what I can do. I could use the mechanic ability that we came up with for my intimidating presence. Yeah, you can do that, 100%. Right? You can force an effect on him. I just don't like him. It's like, Oh, see if I'm lying. No, decide. Like, you as a player. But Mm. if you're going to put that effect, please do. Yeah, I'll I'll do that. I'll just go ahead and use... So Please explain to the group since we've adjusted that. Yeah. Yeah, so in my dragon form, we decided Intimidating Presence was way too powerful to just be able to pop every day Mm. on command. So we've kind of just made it that once per day, I can use it to um, choose to succeed on an Intimidation check by just bringing forth my Intimidation, my Intimidating Presence... So as he like oh, okay. as he like uh, roars this command, you can almost see like a shadow of a larger dragon behind him as he's like calling out to you, and like it's only something you can see because it's more like a, like a mix of the timelines for you. Like you can see that like giant tyrannical version, like as a shadow behind him. Okay. Um. Okay. Yeah. You sort of see them like flatten down a little bit. Like, there's no visible, real, like, change to the face, no micro-expression, per se, but, like, you definitely see their body language, like, flatten out a little bit when you do that, and then sort of come back up, and just look. 
Can I get another drink, please? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, 100%, uh, Gorson, Gorson now brings you over another round, and it's, like, very skittish of the table. Uh, basically, you just, like, shouted in the middle of the, the person chest. Yeah. so, like, she's a little wary of you. Uh, and then I, and I, and I slide one drink to everybody, and it's the same drink that I'm drinking, which is basically pure alcohol with little fruit juice. <laughs> Still, this kind of like looks looks at the drink, flicks tongue at it. <laughs> That's good Foley work. Inspects it, but doesn't drink it. Great, I, your I, was I, good, I reach, so, uh, I reach over and take his drink. So I guess we'll be off. It was really nice meeting you. Uh, we're we're headed to uh, Silence. We're over again, Silence. We're heading to the capital. You're already in the capital. Yeah. And uh, I, I guess you could tag along until you disappear. That's what we usually do in, when we get sent back in time. You're used to this sort of thing. Yeah, all too well. Um, our friend, good, good friend. We love him very much. Rowan, he, he made a deal. Why don't you tell him about that? Rowan. Uh, yeah, Wynn's a butt fucker and likes to fuck with us. But tell, I mean, maybe a little bit more about how you got into that situation. And maybe the similar situation with him. I, I don't know what, what his dealings uh, are with Wynn. I, I reach over to Rowan and I, I put, like, put a hand knowingly on his, on his shoulder and I go, Rowan, don't speak ill of the dead. <laughs> well, not yet. Yeah, we'll motherfuck him until the day we kill him. Yeah, until he is dead. Fuck that guy. Kind of. But, you know, we made a deal with him, and then he reneged on that deal. Fuck, fucked us over real bad. So now he's going to die for it. Seems like you, you maybe you did that, but what, who killed, how did, was it a, a, the team here that did that, or simply? Good question, good, good question. Can Chris you himself. Six? schematics like exactly how did it go down <laughs> like, give me the play by play you see there was a ritual to sacrifice the beast the song and the blue the beast this. the song and the blue is that what you said yes okay Christoph is writing that down okay good 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 keep going um hey um I have to go. I have to leave now because the beast is Atlas. Has to be. You're so beastly, you're full of rage. You got a demon wolf inside your heart. The song is obviously Rowan, and the blue is obviously Findle. He's Findle the blue or Avia the blue. Fuck! I don't want to kill my friends. This is bullshit, Dwayne. You smell like cheese. Beatus. <laughs> Ryle came, but Ryle too was bested, torn to shreds by the silver serpent. Then your Wen and Sinlor came. That oh, was when the sacrifice was made. This, this is the order I would have done it in, yeah. Now the remaining gods themselves, all of them, live in fear of their new ruler. And the source of my power, the source to which I wish to return... So it seems that may just be a matter of time. What is it that you are doing? And he looks directly at, at Kristoff. Traveling hey. to the capital of silence, um, where we will run a peaceful diplomatic mission in order to uh, basically stop the hostilities between the um, 
Orenthal Coalition and the Kingdom of Silence, and also deal with these fiends that keep popping. Well, yeah, what do you know about these fiends, huh? Fiends? Yeah, these like demons that come out of doors to other dimensions and they're real assholes about everything. They, the, 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 ones that, the, ones, the ones that ruined Oxbane. You must know about Oxbane. Oxbane? Oh, God! Um, actually, Dwayne, I, does my character know about any of that? Um, Oxbane doesn't exist in your future, and the fiends haven't been heard of in a couple decades. I know of no fiend. I know of no ox bay. All right. Well, yeah, so we'll travel. No future. No demons. No, no demons. gods. No well, problem. Well, <laughs> I made a T-shirt that says that. Um, where? Did, what city do you live in? In the future. Pick a name. Oh, okay. <laughs> Make one up. <laughs> in fact, I do not live in a. City. I travel endlessly in search of knowledge in the quest of my patron. Yeah, that sounds about right. Sounds like a thing I would do. Hey, you go on a quest. Find me that thing. What do you need? Find me the arcane uh, knowledge to destroy Aya. Just something <laughs> strong. I shall reward you with great power. Well, then I wonder how he it, got here. What, what is something along the lines of what I was instructed to do? Yeah, uh, probably who? lying about that. Probably gonna kill you. Who, who told you to do that? The Silver Serpent yeah. to stop the cultist Surveya. In fact, I was about to succeed, but their spell went awry. Yes, yeah, so I that's myself here. That's good. The good thing that the spell went awry. So here's the thing: I know me, and I know me with endless power. And you gotta know: the second you give me what I want, I'm going to destroy you. Going to end your life. <laughs> it's not cool. It's a real dick move. That's exactly what's gonna happen because now you know something you're not supposed to know. You're actually now a threat to me. I'll probably just kill you dead on the spot, and then. Afterwards, after you, you know, this cult, cult of uh, Aya is dealt with, um, there'll be no one left to oppose me. I'll, I gotta carry those in. So probably don't do that. Probably go find all the other cultists of the Silver Serpent. Tell them to go find the cultists of Aya and help them to kill me dead. This is how the Silver Serpent conducted things for a time. But as time went on, they found that having some dedicated servants was useful. Yeah, old habits die hard, I'm just saying. You you want to roll the dice with the old silver serpent, go be my guest, but um, seriously don't. Go kill him. I have been promised great things upon my death. Oh, <sighs> dude, that's the worst don't one! Don't believe him. Don't that's believe the worst one! one. You can do. I find your death. Live in the now, my friend. Oh, no. I do. But I also am aware that when the time does come, that which awaits will be better than that which transpires now. Uh, I, I respect your faith. <laughs> what's what's up, true he Christoph, I, I don't think that. Maybe this is not you. Do you, do you know that the the silver serpent from your time is this exact man you see before you or do you just know him as the silver serpent have you seen his face i have seen them take this shape and many others some much more formidable some much much less assuming I do not like this whole entire situation at all. You seem like a good person. Sure, this would yes. Not surprise me. Why is that not surprise you? You care for others. Do you that not care for others? Your mistake. 
well, I mean, if, if I'm going to be sacrificed, as you say, I, it must have been some situation that we all believed that our sacrifice was necessary. I just don't believe that the Kristoff that you were describing to us is the same one that's here. What did you say your name was? Atlas Faria of Riverside and Oxbane. There's no mention of Atlas in the legend of the Silver Serpent. I need there not to be a mention of me. I don't care about being in history books. What about? What about what? Oh, sorry, I... I was going to say something. Oh. No, no, you asked a question. You said, what about okay. me or something? Yeah. Oh, no. I said, what about ghosts? Oh. Your other alias. Oh, yeah. Your use. nickname that you've never used since the beginning of the podcast. <laughs> yep, that one. No, there's no mention of ghosts. Only the beast, the song, and the blue. We have no idea what those could possibly be. Not at all. Kristoff knows exactly what they are. He doesn't want to bring it up. What, what, what is the importance of this beast in the song that you speak of? In the blue? What, what do they? How do they work together? I do not know the details of this ritual. It was high magic. Of the highest orders. I hope one day, perhaps, after I ascend, I will be able to attain such wonders myself. Oh yeah, you keep on hoping, buddy. <laughs> yeah, but why would why would the, the gods or whoever... I don't know magic very well. Christoph, maybe you can help me. John. But why would the gods allow there to be a spell or a ritual that would allow them to be destroyed? And even if they didn't do it, then how would someone attain that knowledge? Hmm. Maybe when you ascend, you can ask that question too. Indeed. Although I, I suspect I will not need to ask. <laughs> you won't need a lot of things. Air, food, water, blood. This is true. Yeah, oh, you'll be super great, buddy. Uh, okay, so... Hmm, this is tricky. Um, sticky wicket, if you will. Oh, I guess. Oh, for it, let's do it. Yeah, I mean, that part's gonna be cool. Mm -hmm. Alright, well, um... I guess we gotta get on the road, right? Yeah, you really put a damper on my hot biscuits this morning. I think I'm just done here. Tindo! What do you do? Tindo yeah, no, still is not with you. You left him back at the camp. This is twice now. Yeah, his feelings are hurt. Oh, did yeah, I? this is twice now that you've like summoned Tindo and been <laughs> like, Tindo exists. I'm the Silver Surfer. Come, come to me. No, you literally come told him to stay at the camp because he was a drunk, well, whiny bitch. How would you like to be my new boot companion? <laughs> oh, because we were doing a stealth mission across the country and I didn't want him to give us away. That's right. Mm -hmm. He also offered us an army. Yeah. I, I still love the idea of stay here and this moment said Tyndall oh right fuck fuck Tyndall 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 damn it Tyndall <laughs> Rinwick Rinwick Tyndall <laughs> uh, I, so I guess you can roll with us until you uh, you are gone if you'd like you can see how it all really began. Oh. All right. I'm interested. I mean, you're also interested in getting home, too. That's true. Yes, but this is history in the making, and you're going to want to be a part of it and say you saw it before you left, if you get the chance. I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. He has a negative one intelligence modifier, so... <laughs> the fact that these guys have some experience might... The of value experience with the total time travel. Yeah, mostly. I just would like to get home, but 
And if you say these things are a matter of time, I'm inclined to believe what you say if you have experience. Honestly, usually we have to do a thing first. There's like a thing that specifically we were brought forth to do, and then once we've done it, then we usually get to go home. Hmm. Perhaps... Perhaps that was what the serpent meant when he mentioned the crack. There's the crack in the veil, and his eyes kind of glaze over for a second as, as though he's like seeing something else. Y- yes. That's where it, I see the hot springs of Tarunia. Well, that's where we are now. And then it's, the eyes kind of like come back to normal. The hot springs Tarunia, that's where we are. I mean, we're not at the hot springs, but we're, in the, we're over there. My point. It seems I may have a way back to my world beneath the hot spring. Okay. It seems a little I, strange. I shall go there. Perhaps, if you wish to learn more, perhaps you will join me. <laughs> um, I, I kind of like, like this thing where we could go to the future where all the things we need to do is just already done and we don't even have to do them. This is the hot tub time PC machine PC. all over again? Yeah, I mean, let's, we'll go check it out. But um, yeah, let's go check it out. See what's going on with these hot springs. Worst case scenario, yeah. we'll come back That's in a little while. Scenario. All right, cool. So, um, uh, Christoph, so uh, you would know that there is like a basement to the first in Chestnut since you've been here before. Um, so I assume you would uh, find that. Yeah. Um, so Christoph, like, uh, kind of motions for you guys to get up, um, and it's kind of visibly, it's it's easily noticeable that like you guys are the center of attention. Now, um, you've made a lot of noise. You now have a, a used to a it. Serpent. Well, this isn't great attention. This is more like um, terror situation. It's like you made big noise. People are now to hearing the conversations, um, and so you uh, kind of lead everybody uh, through like the walkway to the hot springs, and then um, there's like a, a door on the opposite side that kind of leads you down into. Uh, <laughs> a basement below that's kind of built around the hot springs itself. So you guys like uh, descend probably a couple flights down around this like uh, almost well like location um, and then you're able to get to this like open landing and it's where like uh, you keep liquors and stuff like that but not ones you would want to keep cold. Ones that they would like to keep hot because they're at the base of this hot springs. Um, uh, and at that point, if, uh, Chris, if you want to roll an Arcana check, please. I would love to. 16. Um, so you are feeling, um, disoriented as you come down the steps because you can feel the torrent is going in and out. So, uh, mm-hmm. like losing magic and coming back. It's almost like, so you don't lose your true form, but you can feel that being suppressed and then, like, uh, not suppressed anymore. And so the right. just the back and forth is very disorienting and does not feel uh, great in any way, shape, or form. Um, but you can definitely feel there's something super wrong here. Uh, you can roll an Arcana check, too. Um, yeah, definitely a 13. Um, I mean, with a 13, you still know that there's something wrong. You're not nearly as uh, adept in what it is, but you know something's not right. All right. All yeah. right, now what? It's something here's different. Um, 
So we're just kind of in, in a room. Yeah, it's like a it's like a hot spring. It's, well, it's kind of like a I think cellar where there's like a bunch of casks and it's the, all these like alcohols that are being heated by the hot springs. Mm-hmm. Basically, an earthen yep. hot tub. Yeah, but there's no hot tub. It's just like all ground and stuff. It's like the hot springs are above. Like think like there's like a stone wall where they have like oh I see. made the hot springs. Like the hot springs are a natural thing, but they kind of built around it to build like this self heating cellar. Like it's super. So we're just in a we're just in a dark warm room. I mean, it's like a hot. Room. Yeah. Yep. Got it. Uh, so this is this is where you're supposed to be. This is the vision you had. I believe so. Um, so this starts kind of looking around the room, checking behind crates, looking to see if there's anything additional to uh, perhaps be perceived. Um, Atlas, roll me a constitution statement there, please. Oh, that's cool. And you are dead. Uh, 19. Okay. Um, so you're kind of walking around the room, I assume, just kind of like getting your bearings. And then as yep. you get closer to the middle of the room, that axe that you have the ability to summon summons itself into your hand. And your arm like takes that form, those molten rocks. And out from your arm, that red arcane energy like sparks open and like hits the center of this room. And this like crack in the center of space kind of opens up. And um, uh, syllabus, you get the feeling like you get that familiar feeling like a home, like it just feels right to you. That portal and um, Atlas, the whole time this is happening, you have like this like rage going through you and this like force of like electricity and power going through you as like this 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 axe is holding this portal open, and you have no idea why. Syllabus. Um... Quickly, if you were not what you are, if you were not a cultist, what would you be doing instead? I suppose being a snake. No, I mean, like, what? What would would you be a farmer? Would you would you take up a profession? Mm, I would mm. seek. Power. Well, best of luck. And I take off my dragon mask, I throw it into the portal, and I cast a spell magic on myself. Whoa. I will not play a part. I will not play a game. I will not be a tyrant. Good luck. This is a fucking paradox. Um, so this would sort of watch, watch the mask go flying in and give you a, a strange look before walking pretty quickly yeah, towards the you portal. you would chase the mask in, 100%. Yeah. yeah, yeah, for sure, going after the mask. Um, but would sort of turn at the last second, being the, uh, the, the orc with the crazy thunderous lightning arm holding, holding the portal open. And, and, and just kind of marvel marvel at that for a second before reaching reaching underneath his robe and and pulling out a little wooden figurine of a little snake and just kind of setting it on the ground. And I'll go so, trade Z's as I throw the cortex of the creators at his chest. No, it's cool. It's totally cool. This doesn't hurt at all. Uh, you just keep keep standing then, there waiting as much as time as you need. And then immediately sort of turns around, chasing through after the mask. Um, so, uh, as podcast tradition, do you, uh, we let the guests give an item. Are you trying to give that snake totem as an item to them? And then I'll match fire that up? All right, cool. Great. Um, yeah, so you chase it into, you chase the silver mask into the portal. Um, and as you do that, there's this, like, uh, explosion of energy. And kind of like, I, I do. go ahead. I just want to make sure that you heard me. I did. I did throw the cortex of the creators at him. I mean, before he went into the portal. Do you carry that into the portal? Oh, 
Uh, yeah, I, I, I for some reason thought you were throwing that at Atlas. No, I was, yeah, that's uh, what I thought. I was I like, thought, yeah, stop I it. You, you put the, put, so I threw the book at you and uh, as you were going into the portal. Yeah, okay, so sees the mask fly through, goes after the mask, turns around, drops the little snake, gets hit by a book, reels for a second, sees the book, sort of feels a, a magical aura emanating off of it, snatches that right up, and just turns tail and runs through the portal. Okay, you guys do that. Um, yeah, and so the portal explodes, and you guys are all knocked backwards um, to the edge of the room. Uh, and as you guys all kind of like fall unconscious, is where we're going to end the uh, episode. Where we now have tossed another artifact away. Along with his mask, which is and now, interesting. And now just leave well, our podcast alone. I'm interested to know what happens in the future. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This is a new story. Well, thanks uh, yeah. for being on the show, Nathaniel. Sneaky. Thanks for having me. Thanks for having me around. To, that's my first time playing an evil character. I don't think I like it. That was a very good. You were it's very good. I liked it yeah. a lot. Thanks. Um, so credit where credit is due. Uh, Sneaky actually kind of came up with the idea of um, coming from an alternate. Uh, universe slash timeline where um, Christoph had successfully taken down the gods. And so I just loved that concept and kind of ran with that a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I liked that timeline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I suspect you might not like it so much once you go there and, and realize that nobody knows. Who Rowan is. Well, I mean, <laughs> I, I guess maybe Rowan wouldn't care that much if nobody knows who he is. If oh, somebody no. knows who he is. Mm. It's Wind Day, because it's it's pretty much gone from like, let's do a good thing to you know what? As long as uh, Wind's dead, fuck it. <laughs> yeah, he wouldn't be around to know if that happened or not. Yeah. Yeah, I know. So uh, super good, um, boys. What do we have on the plate? Uh, I, I just need to know when this episode releases. Me too. Uh, <laughs> um, I can tell you if you want to fill. I, I mean, if, talking if about you want to fill air, I will tell you. I will find out. No, it, it, this is either the last week of Min Max Mankind or it's not. Well, I'm sorry. I don't know the answer to that. Um, don't yeah, man. I, I I think that regardless, we should release this uh, as the first episode in June, and we'll do one more canonic story mm -hmm. in May. That way, that's how May ends. It would, this would be the last one in May. Technically. Yeah. Is, is this how we want to end May? I'm just asking. Not that it wasn't awesome. Um, this is canonically timeline wise, it's like where it's going to end. Like, this is going to land. Okay. So it is what it is. You know what I mean? In that case, Ginge, if you could just make that last thing go away. And, um,. All right, guys, it is the end of May. It is the end of Min Max Mankind. We are either at our goal or nearing our goal of 10 thousand dollars for wait, various wait, wait, if you go to minmaxmankind.org <laughs> min you will see our tracker there you'll see our, our, our timeline you're going to see the amazing list of giveaways that are going to be coming the giveaway is going to be up soon we're going to be doing the drawing soon for uh, by my count and by the way where this is a this is a long time in the past already over 35 different yes. items being donated by various nerdy organizations we're talking about like uh 250 gift card to reaper minis we're talking about uh dice trays and and we're talking about um dice towers we're talking about dice themselves we're talking about uh custom character commission artwork we're talking about maps we're talking about t-shirts we're talking about all kinds of crazy stuff and you should go check it out i don't have enough time to talk about it all um but it is coming to an end so we would like to say do that help us reach our goal if we're not there already and mostly Thank you. Thank you to everyone you. who took the time at their own table to roll a d20 and use that roll to help somebody in need. It does make our lives when you do that kind of thing. So thank you very much. You're the best. You're a lot better than civil is. <laughs> it's well, low bar. Well, uh, it's not hard to do. Uh, it's not hard to do. Sneaky. Um, <laughs> you're an evil snake. <laughs> you're not an evil Literally. snake. Literally. In fact, I'm, if you... Or am I? 
if you're if you're an evil snake out there listening and you think it's time if you hey listen and you think it's finally ch- time to change your scales roll a d20 right now donate the amount that you roll to your favorite charity and the magic of giving will turn you into a real boy I mean, you could also just roll a d20 and give to uh, Christoph's favorite charity, which happens to be Child's Play Charity. So, it is Child's Play Charity. They are the best. Well, it's not Christoph's favorite charity. Christoph's favorite charity is the Christoph Shindo um, Young Magicians Fund, um, but does not exist in this world. Yeah, you could just send um, that to Child's Play Charities PayPal. It's really the same. Yeah, yeah it really is. Yeah, it really, it really is. is. Oh. Uh, uh, see links in the description on how you can donate. MinMaxMankind.org is really your, your one-stop shop to see not only Child's Play, um, but all of the amazing charities we supported over this last year since the first MinMax Mankind, and they would all be uh, a worthy uh, selection for you going forward with your roles for humanity. Oh, we should actually do one right now, huh? Yep. Yeah, that sounds good. Yeah. That sounds pretty neat. Somebody's supposed to make up a thing about why I have advantage, but I don't remember what it is anymore. Uh, Rowan gives you bardic either. inspiration. He sings you. That was the first one. No, nope. that one. No, it's not. It was rage because because you're a freaking nope. dragon. Rage, rage, rage was the second one. Because you're a dragon. I I, I burned sorcery. I burned sorcery points once. Mm-hmm. Alex gave me inspiration, bardic inspiration once, and I got rage once. What was the last one? Oh, the last one was the DM one. The last one was um, for good role play. Yeah, well, that didn't happen this hey. episode. So. Mm, that would be <laughs> uh, no, yeah, well, you can have a. I guess fuck the kids then, Dwayne. So lawful fun. stupid inspiration, <laughs> which we've only used like once, uh, maybe twice. It's Eighteen. Oh, damn! Nice. Yeah. Oof. Good roll. Good roll. Rolled an eighteen for child's play charity. First one was a two, but because of that lawful stupid inf- inspiration, which I get for giving away all my magic items and my fucking dragon powers, and now I don't have any good scores anymore. Um, you know, it's an eighteen. Very cool. Yeah, that surprised that surprised me. Yeah, well, I refuse to become a tyrant. I, if you want to say, oh, because I'm a big, bad, dragon, scary guy, then I'm going to become the god of gods and become everything that I hate. Well, then I'll just get rid of it, and I'll do things my way. Um, so, Sneaky, uh, this is an opportunity. This is your platform, man. Um, if there's something you want to say, you have, like, 30 seconds to a minute to really just say, plug your own shit, say whatever you want to say. Um, if you don't have anything prepared, right that's on. cool. Um. I, you know, I don't really have anything going on in my own life that I really want to promote too much at this particular moment. Um, but I do want to say, if you're listening to this podcast and you've made it to this episode and you're not part of the Discord, like, what are you doing? Hey, man. Ooh, what are you doing? Hi, the, wrong, the, wrong, the wrong thing. Do the right thing. <laughs> join the Discord. Because, well, we don't, we don't know you yet, but we already like you. So come hang out. I like that. Yeah, I don't a, know you yet. Steal real. that. Hey, uh, Ging, cut him saying that and yeah, make him hey, say it. Make, yeah. Yeah. And also, <laughs> also, use, use your make him say fuck. Like, <laughs> do both of those. Yeah, oh, uh, look at that little time, part from earlier. At the time of the recording, it sounded like uh, said fuck. It's almost my birthday, but when this releases, it, my birthday's already passed. So, Ging, if you could just put a compilation of Devin saying all the swear words that you can think of. Clipped from rent. Uh, can you just give me a smattering of um, of vowel sounds? Real quick? Hey, Devin, a question. Uh, if your fire's on, if your house is on fire, uh, what type of what type of truck comes to your house? Uh, a fire truck. Perfect. Fire. Perfect. Ginge, you can work with that, right? Yeah, You've made me sound good in song. I'm sure you can get him to say the f word with those. Um, yeah. Um, hey, what comes next in this sequence, Devin? Chuck, suck, ruck, luck, puck. Pluck? Yep, sounds great. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. perfect. You had the uck, uck noise yeah. you were looking for, Ginge? Appreciate you. Got him. Everything. Got everything we need. The the pieces are. Oh, are uh, what's what's the what's the phonetic um word for F in the military alphabet? Foxtra. F and that yep. uck. Yeah, just put those together. Be solid. Uh. Happy hey, birthday. if you're listening to this, that means Volaton is uh, fast approaching. If you haven't already gotten your tickets, Ooh. you really fucking should. If it's not already sold out. <laughs> I really fucking should. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. That's our best dialogue. You, uh, 
really yeah, uh, it's gonna be good. There's a ton of podcasts lined up. Uh, we'll be running tables, um, as well as doing. I think I'm a part of like two panels now, maybe three. I, I don't even know. I'm just like raising my hand every time they're like panel. Yep, I'm in. Yeah. To yeah, be fair, July I thought they were asking 12, for, for July tackle. 12 through 14. So go ahead and check out to get your tickets. It may or may not be sold out. I heard that they're selling pretty quick, actually. So um, hopefully there's still some there for you. By the time this airs, it's already gone. Yeah, most likely. So I hope you got it. Maybe you done fucked up. Yeah, maybe. It's okay. Next year. Next year. Um, no, I think that's it. Unless you guys, boys, you got anything else for us? No. Sneaky? It's a pleasure. So, uh, we love you. Bye. Bye. Whatever. Yeah, you are great. <laughs> Makes me happy.